and All is a 2022 romantic horror movie directed by Luca Gattinino from a screenplay by David Kajnich. It stars Taylor Russell, Timothy Chalamet, and Mark Rylance. So the story is about a young couple of cannibals, and the way it puts it in this, they call them eaters. So they're not quite just some regular person that's a cannibal. They're more along the lines of like a vampire. They're a full-blown creature that can't help themselves but eat human flesh. And the way it plays out is very interesting. There are certain rules and gifts, like they're able to smell each other from a very long way away, and they're kind of animal-like. They're a little more animal-like than they are human. Dad! You didn't. When the cops get here, you have to be good and gone. I can't help you anymore. I know it's not your fault. You were born this way. But I don't want to give anything more away than that. I want you to kind of discover this for yourself. But it's basically about this couple that goes on the run because they're cannibals. They do not fit in society and they find each other and they kind of stick together and they go on this almost Bonnie and Clyde journey across country. They're not quite the villains uh, like Bonnie and Clyde, but at the same time, they are villains because they're killing people. And so it sets it up with this really interesting story where on one hand, they're both sweet and you really enjoy them. They're full of charisma. They're very likable characters with really interesting backstories that created them into becoming what they are today. But on the other hand, they're killers. They kill people and they eat them. And it gets pretty gory, pretty graphic. And there are definitely some scenes that you see some pretty brutal stuff. But beyond that, it just really turns your stomach the way it all plays out. There's many scenes that will catch you off guard and make you just go, oh, like if you're not someone comfortable with really brutal body horror and gore, then this is one you might want to shy away from. But that being said, I would say it's more of a romance and more of a love story than it is a horror movie. It does have plenty of horror elements about it though. It's just that the story really focuses on their love story and how they develop this trust for each other and this journey they go on. There's also a villain in this who is so creatively weird and original and just has this very unique way about him that is hard to even explain. You have to just kind of see his style and the way he talks and his his weird little nuances and intricacies. I can't say the word right now. Intricacies. That is just, wow, he's so fun to watch in this movie. So it is a little bit of a slow burn, but it never really feels slow because you're always anticipating something. So even if there's not crazy action on the screen and it's a dialogue drama part, the way it's done, you're always kind of feeling like something is about to happen. Another foot is gonna drop because there is plenty of intense moments plenty of twists and turns and things that are going to catch you off guard stuff you were not going to expect to happen does and so it just takes you on this really entertaining ride but keep in mind this is a very small movie this is an indie art house slow burnish type of horror movie so it's not going to have big explosions or wild special effects or any of that this is a much more smaller kind of story. In a lot of ways, it kind of reminds me of, of a lot of what I see in the indie foreign horror, stuff like the movie Raw. If you're a fan of the movie Raw, the French foreign horror movie, then I think you'll definitely enjoy this. It has a very similar vibe to it. Just this weird, disgusting, kind of dark, demented, oppressive kind of feeling that this movie has. It's very gritty, very dirty. Everything feels lived in and real, and but also sweaty and uncomfortable. It just makes you feel like you need to take a shower. We don't have many options. Either you eat, you off yourself, or you lock yourself up in there. But there's also something infectious about it and enjoyable about it, and it doesn't feel like a movie that you're hating on and and it's like you want more of it I, it's they do a really great job of putting this really unique story out there and and doing all this in a really interesting way that doesn't really quite feel like anything i've seen before and the acting is absolutely outstanding in this the entire cast each of them have their own really unique stories and and way about them their own charisma and style and they all just kill it. They're all so believable in these roles and you are sucked in to their stories right away. It feels real, you feel like you're absorbed into this story. So in that way, it's very believable and you feel like you're buying into everything that they're selling. 
The directing and the way it's shot are fantastic as well. Just the cinematography, the B-roll in this, everything in, about it, it just has this style and this real interesting way of presenting everything that he has this, this unique mood and atmosphere and vibe. I really enjoy this movie tremendously, but I gotta warn you, if you're not into art house, slow burn, indie kind of horror, then this is not one you should probably, I'm not saying you shouldn't see it, but you shouldn't really expect much from it. But if you're someone that really enjoys independent movies, smaller stories that have a real art flavor and stylish way about them that are definitely slow and dramatic and dialogue driven, then you should most definitely check this movie out. Either way, I think you'll be safe waiting for this to stream, but if you go and see it in theaters, I think you'll be happy with your decision as well. It's kind of one of those, either way, if this sounds like something you're really into, then definitely by all means go and see it in theaters. But if you're anyone that's even kind of on the fence, just wait for it to stream. It'll be great streaming as well. We got unfinished business. But that's going to do it for me today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I want to give a huge, massive thank you to my patrons. Because you ever-growing Ghost Pirate Army, you guys mean so much to me. And if you would like to find out more about how to help this channel and become a member of the Ghost Pirate Army, there's a link down in the description. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember, guys... Horror can be fun! If you enjoyed this, click right here for another video. And I'll see you guys next time!